around the year 2030, 10 years, 259 days and 10 hours away from now, we will be in a position where we set off an irreversible chain reaction that will most likely lead to the end of our civilization as we know it. That is, unless in that time, permanent and unprecedented changes in all aspects of society have taken place, including a reduction of our CO2 emissions by at least 50%. And please note that these calculations are depending on inventions that have not been yet invented. We are in the midst of the sixth mass extinction, and the extinction rate is up to 10,000 times faster than what is considered normal, with up to 200 species becoming extinct every single day. Erosion of fertile topsoil, deforestation of our great forests, toxic air pollution, loss of insects and wildlife, the acidification of our oceans. These are all disastrous trends being accelerated by a way of life that we here in our financially fortunate part of the world see as our right to simply carry on. Greta Thunberg, de 16 años, quien comenzó en su pequeña ciudad, después fue por Escandinavia, después por Europa y después por las redes, sobre todo primero por las redes, y ha llevado su lucha contra el cambio climático a nivel mundial. Dio una fuerte denuncia en la cumbre de la ONU por la acción climática. Acusó a los líderes políticos y a los empresarios de no actuar para frenar los efectos del cambio climático en el mundo, parte del discurso de Greta Thunberg. Greta, your first climate strike was a lonely event a little over a year ago, and in the intervening time you have sparked the interest of millions, literally of children around the globe, demanding action for climate change. What's your message to world leaders today? My message is that we'll be watching you. This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Yet you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet I'm one of the lucky ones. People are suffering, people are dying, entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? For more than 30 years, the science has been crystal clear. How dare you continue to look away and come here saying that you're doing enough when the politics and solutions needed are still nowhere in sight. You say you hear us and that you understand the urgency. But no matter how sad and angry I am, I do not want to believe that. Because if you really understood the situation and still kept on failing to act, then you would be evil, and that I refuse to believe. You are failing us, but the young people are starting to understand your betrayal. The eyes of all future generations are upon you. And if you choose to fail us, I say we will never forgive you. We will not let you get away with this. Right here, right now, is where we draw the line. The world is waking up, and change is coming whether you like it or not. Thank you.